Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Guys, for this episode, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on an obsidian block generator slash grinder. You guys uh, did comment on the last couple of videos asking me to make this and how you guys uh, should be able to do this. And uh, yeah, this is the tutorial on how to do it. So uh, after this video is posted, I will be removing the string from the shop. And uh, you guys will have to make your own like spider grinders in order to get string. Just be just because having this set type of grinder is basically having a buy string or buy obsidian shop in this in the shop. So we are going to be removing the string from the shop as of this episode. And uh, hopefully none of you guys get too mad. And uh, let's continue. So uh, I'm going to start off here in my F home. And I'll show you guys what or how it looks like when the obsidian is generated and then at the next part of the video I'll show you guys how to make it. So basically all I got to do is place string all across the redstone blocks like so. I might have uh, actually might have placed an extra on top. So let's just start off there and then I'll just do a little bit of a row here. And then all you got to do is press this button releases the lava turns the string as you can see right there into obsidian oh god i ruined the end but that's no problem i'll just fix that later and then as you guys can see all you got to do is mine um with an efficiency five fortune pick i have a fortune three pick actually and then i have a really high level mining on uh mcmmo so there's a chance especially if you have a really high mining level there's a chance that it'll drop more than one block at the same time as you guys can look if you guys are watching really closely you guys can see that two obsidian blocks are dropping from one or even three right there and then there's another three as you guys can see this is the, the probably the fastest way to get obsid obsidian other than uh going into like a cave system and looking for uh, a lava source there and I will be teaching you guys how to make this shortly I'm gonna pause the video right here I'm gonna jump into a creative uh, single-player world and there I will teach you guys how to make this so stick around uh, if you guys haven't already hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't thank you guys I'm almost at 2k subscribers and I'll probably do another vlog slash giveaway at that point and uh, let's take it away right here I'm gonna pause really quickly go to a single-player world and let's get this tutorial started Alright guys, we are back and this is basically the finished product here and I will sh be showing you guys how to make this uh, on this creative server just to make things a little bit easier on my part so I don't have to build and make extra materials on Factions Green and uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you guys are going to want to make sure is that you're facing west. You're going to want to click F3 if you can see in my upper left hand corner here. Your farm has to be facing west. If it does not face west, your farm will not work. I repeat, your farm will not work. It is just a weird game mechanic. And um, basically, you, your farm needs to be facing west in order for this farm to work properly. So uh, I'm going to build a quick base, or uh, a small base right here. Just so you guys can distinguish uh, what I'm building. Time set zero. What I'm building and what is not being part of the build. So this is how we started off, just a small base here. And what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to build two up, like so. And you're going to place a button on that second highest uh, level right there so boom there's your button now what you're gonna want to do next is uh, right beside that button you're gonna want to place two rows of four wide uh, stone bricks so here's the button the base so one two three four and then on the this side as well one two three four now next to this button you're gonna want to get a redstone repeater you can buy those at the shop and they're very very easy to make if it's not in the shop and then you're gonna face the redstone repeater this way so it's gonna be facing so if you push this button it'll power this redstone repeater towards this way on this first uh, layer of stone bricks and then you're gonna face it this way you're gonna put two redstone sand pieces on these two blocks and then you're gonna put more redstone repeaters back facing towards the button so this will basically this button will turn or uh, start this redstone and it'll go around in a circuit and turn off the button once again so you guys are going to want to put this on max delay so as an overview you guys are going to need six repeaters on max delay like so next behind where you put the button you guys where i place the stone brick you guys are going to want to dig a one deep trench so there's my one deep trench like so i'm gonna make a super short farm just so the video is not too long but as you guys saw in my farm you guys can basically expand this to however long you want it to be all right after you make that trench you're gonna go to the second redstone level so like the midst the mid the middle 
the middle redstone repeater and you're going to build a wall right right behind it so like so like so and then i'm going to close off my farm here like so and then what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to place a water source block at every single one of these things right beside this little l shape that you've made right here so the water will flow into the ditch and then it won't be spilling everywhere so don't be don't be worried about that next next step you guys are going to need a bunch of dispensers you guys can buy this at any of the shops on any of the faction servers so you guys will be able to just buy dispensers easily and what you're going to do is so right behind the button you guys are going to want to place the dispenser so it'll be right above where the waterfall is falling so as you guys can see here really quickly just place the dispensers right on top and then one of the last steps you're going to put redstone on top of all of these especially make sure you put it on top of the button block as well and then place this going all the way through uh, as a quick reminder redstone only goes seven blocks signal deep so make sure you count it off one two three four five six seven i believe it's seven at least and then you're gonna you're gonna want another uh, redstone repeater to keep your signal going all right next step guys you're gonna get a redstone block a red a block of redstone this time and you're, you can, I'm pretty sure this is sold at the shops on uh, the Archon, but if it's not, you guys just place a bunch of redstone in a squarish fashion and it'll make it into a block. And then you're going to turn, so where this waterfall is falling, the stone brick initial layer that you guys set, you're going to turn that into a redstone block, like so. So, ba 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 ba. Alright, now next, after you place that along your entire farm, you're going to skip a row. So as you guys can see here, I'm skipping this row here. And then I'm going to make another row just because I didn't make one at the start. And then you're going to put a too high block of like a, a back wall. So the back wall is going to be holding your signs and the back wall is also going to be holding your tripwire hooks. All right. Now, so for the signs, you're going to need a sign. So where the where you placed your initial button, you're going to need two signs to stop it from overflowing into your like safe area. So two signs there and then uh, two signs across from it. So over here. And then on the second layer of the stone brick, you're going to want to sign across. So basically, it's going to be across from the dispensers. So you're going to put signs all the way across your entire back wall on the second layer like so. Last but not least, you guys are going to want to put, you guys are going to need a tripwire hook. So you guys make that using, you need a stick, you need an iron ingot, and then you need a a uh, piece of string to make a tripwire hook it's very easy to make very cheap and you guys will be able to make a bunch of those very easily and all you have to do now the last and final step into this building process is across from the waterfall source that you guys see here you're gonna put tripwire hooks across this entire back wall right below where the signs were and there you go your farm is basically done and now all you have to do is place string across every single one of these redstone blocks right on top of it it'll look like it'll form like a t-shape in between each block and you guys will know that you have it ready all said and done now all you got to do is press the button and watch the magic happen what the heck oh i forgot one step here we go what a mistake so you guys are going to need to put inside the dispenser you're going to need to put one lava bucket just one lava bucket into each dispenser like so i can't believe i forgot that step i am an idiot <laughs> so take the lava bucket place it into each one i was wondering why it was not working and missed one of the key ingredients so put a lava bucket in each one you guys can buy lava buckets at the shop for 500 gold each push the button and boom the lava flows it turns the string into obsidian your little uh redstone clock timer here turns the obsidian back off and there you go you have a lava bucket once again Un reusable lava bucket unusable or it's not it's you don't have to keep replacing it after each farm session and there you go all you got to do now is mine up this obsidian and you guys are ready to go I can show you one last time Place string on top of the redstone, hit the button, and a magic, voila, there goes your obsidian. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure you leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you guys want any more of these tutorial type episodes. This is going to be a quick, probably less than 10 minute video, I'm not really sure how long I've been recording for. But yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'm almost at 2,000. Almost at 2,000, guys. I will be doing another giveaway and another vlog once that happens. Thank you guys for all the support you've given me. And once again, this is D-Field with a Obsidian Generator tutorial. And I will see you guys later.